Jack's specific Sonic the Hedgehog toy line is pretty interesting. If you want to know the history of the toy line so far, go check out the video on screen. Since they started releasing 4 inch figures, which are a pain in the ass to find. Listen, I just found Metal Sonic and Knuckles. Just now. I didn't get Knuckles, but I did get Metal Sonic, so expect a review very soon. Anyway, everyone has been wondering, where's figures of the classic Sonic characters? Well, in Wave 3, we got Sonic, again, listen, Jack Specific, I love you, but can you please stop giving us the same Sonic? Thanks. Super Sonic, Eggman, again, and surprisingly, Mighty the Armadillo. If you don't know who Mighty is, Mighty is, well, an armadillo, and first appeared in Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, a arcade game if you were wondering, and most recently, Sonic Mania. And now we finally have a figure of Mighty. We had a plush by Jax, but not an actual figure, so this is the first time we've actually gotten a Mighty figure, which is really cool. And I think I wasn't the only one shocked by this, since, you know, we got a Mighty figure before Classic Sonic, but, you know. I know we have that 2.5 inch of classic Sonic, but I mean, who actually likes that figure? But yeah, we have a Mighty figure now. So a few months later, I finally found him. So without further ado, let's take a look at Mighty the Armadillo. Taking a look at the packaging for Mighty the Armadillo, it's the same exact packaging that we get for the 4 inch figures, but instead with a classic spin. So now instead of a darker background and a modern Sonic up top, we have a drawing of classic Sonic in a lighter blue, and the classic Sonic Hedgehog logo on the bottom as opposed to the modern one, but other than that, it's basically the same as the modern one. And you can just see Mighty in there, you can see the accessory it comes with, which is a pretty interesting accessory, and then, you know, on the back, it's the same as the other ones, showing the articulation, showing what other figures are in wave tells you a brief description of Mighty saying Mighty is a powerful armadillo and a great friend to Knuckles and Ray. Just like his name implies, he's remarkably strong and has that in multiple languages. Bottom whole bunch of legal stuff, actual bottom, you can see the figure. And yeah, so without further ado, let's take a look at the figure out of the packaging. Oh wow, I actually broke the Wow, I, was I broke this. Huh. Didn't know I could do that. So here is the figure out of the packaging, and let's first take a look at the accessory. The accessory he comes with is this TV with a ring inside of it. I forgot what this was called in the Sonic games, but there's not that much detail going on here. It has this nice silver plastic with a sticker on the inside showing a ring, and then on the bottom there is a peg so you can connect it to the Green Hill Zone playset or possibly future playsets. And yeah, there's not that much going on here. And taking a look at the figure out of the packaging, I really like the way this figure looks. Uh, one of the few problems I have with it is that it doesn't scale at all. He's supposed to be smaller than the Sonic. Paint details look pretty good, but there are some paint errors, like the red bleeds onto the socks, and also onto the white stripes on Mighty's feet. That's the only paint error I really see. These top parts here are glued in, so if you put a lot of force into it, you could definitely rip those off, so I highly recommend not doing that. The eyes look really good, and also the mouth looks good as well, and the oval in the center looks very good, and the nose looks alright. Right here, you can kind of see some tan right here. It's kind of hard to notice, so it's completely fine by me. On that, it just looks great. There is some weird sculpting things like right here and also right here. And for the articulation, the head can swivel side to side. Can't really go all the way around. The arms can move all the way around and out about that far. Both hands are on ball joints. This one is an open hand and this one's a fist. For the legs, they can swivel side to side and go forward about that far and back about that far. A bent at the knee and you can swivel it side to side. And the feet are on ball joints. Overall, the articulation is pretty good. It's a typical Jack Specific figure with the articulation. One big problem I have with the figure is that it doesn't really stand up. You have to move around a bit with the feet since the feet are on ball joints, so that's an advantage of having ball joints at the feet. And now I think it's time for some size comparisons. <laughs> So 
So overall, this is a fantastic figure with a really good sculpt looking just like Mighty, and the paint detail is pretty good. If you are a fan of Mighty Deer Armadillo, Sonic Mania, or a fan of that Sega Sonic the Hedgehog arcade game, does anybody actually remember that exists? If you are a fan of Mighty the Armadillo or Sonic Mania, I highly recommend picking this figure up as it is the first ever Mighty figure. We might never get a Mighty figure again. I'm so happy Jack Specific is finally moving on from modern characters that we have already gotten figures for multiple times and going into characters that I would consider be obscure like Mighty the Armadillo. And I can't wait to see what Jack Specific does next. Ever.